Uh, right now, though, we're going to talk about the new special Great American Baking Show Celebrity Holiday. We are so excited to catch up with the judges, Prue Leith and Paul Hollywood. But first, we want to show you a clip where former NFL star Marshawn Lynch asks the judges for a little help with his dessert. Take a look. Just what you need help with? All of this. <laughs> I'm in the kitchen with a hoodie on. First of all, you gotta understand, feel my pain. I can't believe it won't taste good because. With strawberries and cream. And that cream wrong. is perfectly whipped, so so far so good. Good luck. Might luck, get mate. all right. Good luck. <laughs> Joining us now here in the studio, Prue and Paul joining us from London. We are so yeah, glad you guys could, you. Uh, could be here. Well, it's so exciting. So, of course, this all started across the pond, the great British Bake Off. And so now the Americans are getting involved. Prue, let's start with you. Who's better at baking, the Americans or the Brits? What do you, you know, think? Interestingly, Paul said that he thought the Americans were. But okay. I would never dare say that. You know? <laughs> now, I, I mean, you, we've got the best bakers in America, and we have the best bakers in Britain. So, of course, they're great. They're all they're all great. They're all great. They're all Paul, great. Paul, would you mind elaborating? Prue, Prue has just thrown you under the bus. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> do you think the Americans are better? Well, the, the only thing I, I will say is that they, they've they improved dramatically over the last couple of seasons. And actually, in the celebrity special, the baking was very, very good. And it really surprised me, considering some of our celebrities over here have been terrible. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And, and Paul, since we've got you there, of course, the Hollywood handshake has become a thing. What does it take for you to deliver the handshake to the contestants? It has to be perfection. And the idea is if it is near perfect or perfect or slightly unusual, something I've never had before, then that will deserve a Hollywood handshake. All right. I want to ask you guys um, which challenge? I'll start with you, Prue. Which mm -hmm. challenge was the biggest disaster? I, you know what? I'm not going to talk to you about disasters because there were lots of them and they're <laughs> really watchable. So Friday, free streaming on Roku. I love it. Okay. I love it. Hey, can Stand I tell by. you? I want to tell everybody because we all love you, Prue, so much. In the uh, break, you were saying you're actually more of a chef than a baker. The truth is. Well, I, that is true. I mean, I was a restaurateur and I had, uh, I have a really great, two great cookery schools, chef schools, one in South Africa and one in England. And so I have judged food all my life, all my cooking life. And I've had 20 years as a, as a food judge on telly. Yeah. So you said I, your I, taste buds are... That's what I'm famous for, is my taste buds, not for my skills. <laughs> well, we're going to test your skills right now because we're going <laughs> to head over to the table because we have one of the traditional Yule Logs. And you're going to walk us through this. First of all, uh, tell us about a Yule Log dessert. What exactly is it? And what does it take to get it just right? Do you know it's so easy? I mean, you can either make or buy a really good chocolate Swiss roll, which is just a rolled up cake with cream inside it. Okay. And then you put some um, butter icing all over it, and it looks like a log already. And um, if you shove up a little bit, or I swap places. Yeah, sure, yes. absolutely. Yes. Yeah, right, yeah. right where the, okay. uh, the tasting section and you is. And you take a fork and you sort of make it look okay. like bar. But that's rough, it. A bit rough and ready like there's that. Your, there's like your bark. Is it, now, is right. it time consuming to make those? Or like, you know, you're around the holidays, we're stressed out. You know, how do you get through it quickly? Or can you bake yeah. it early and get to it later? You can bake it, put it in the or freezer. You can buy it, it sounds like. You can freezer. buy it, you can bake it, you can put it in the freezer. And these little chocolate leaves, what you do is you, you pour chocolate onto a, a holly leaf. Okay. Like that. Leave it until it's set. And then you peel it off. Okay. Like that. As as we're working on this, Paul, I want to ask you, um, what advice would you give all of us uh, who want to try to bake for the holidays? Any any words of wisdom from you, Mr. Hollywood? Um, I, I think ultimately it's about preparation. Uh, it's about getting the good ingredients and getting some good quality ingredients because whatever you put in you get out in the end product. So if you put good products in, good ingredients, you'll end up with a fantastic one at the end. And obviously follow a decent recipe. Yeah. Uh, or, <laughs> Either his or mine. <laughs> oh, you saw, did right. you see him pointing at his recipes? Yeah, of course he did. He's, he's, he's a good marketer. Now, Prue, you're known for maybe liking a little nip. 
Um, yeah, being, I do like a little nip. Yes. Would, would you recommend anything with your Yule log? Well, yes. I mean, what tastes good with chocolate? Brandy, um, rum, almost anything. I mean, there but we go. let me just tell you what I've done here. I put the leaves on the on the top. And this is a fake berries because we couldn't find any, and that's it. And look at how beautiful that is. I get, can you see that? Wow. I'm in. It's beginning Delicious. to feel a lot like Christmas, mm -hmm. yeah, especially Good. because you guys both joined us. Paul, Hollywood, we thank you so much. Wish you were here. Uh, be well, and happy holidays to you, sir. Ciao, Paul. Happy holidays to everybody. And, uh, and, and Prue, thank you so thank much. You, Everybody, watch them in action. So much fun to watch. The Great American Baking Show Celebrity Holiday. Available to stream, as Prue said, free on the Roku channel this Friday. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.